Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, in this video, we'll be looking um, more into the Android applications and we will also try to look into the signing process of each and every application, right? So, um, let me clear the screen a bit, okay? Probably delete the folder which I earlier created, which was the Firefox, okay? Great, so uh, like I earlier told you, the .apk file is nothing but a zip file. So let's try to unzip this file now. Right, so let's try to unzip this file, uh, Firefox, apk, and let's put dot .folder, which is again, let's put a folder by name Firefox, okay? So the unzip is completed. Let's uh, clear the screen. Let's go down to the Firefox folder where we unzipped it just now. If you see here, there is a particular file by name classes.dex, right? So this is the dex code, right, of the application. And there will always be one dex code for a particular app, right? Uh, let me actually try to explain this with a diagram which I already have here. Okay. Right, so what you see on the screen here is on the left hand side you see the JVM, right? I think JVM is pretty common because um, most almost every Java application, Java developer would have come across JVM before, right? So in JVM you have basically the Java source code compiled, right? And then you get the byte code right and then that is run on the JVM right so you have different JVMs for different platforms right but the interesting thing being the code which comes here you know is platform independent independent it can go and run on any JVM which in turn obviously depends on the platform now uh, in Android uh, in the earlier versions of Android we had something called as a Dalvik machine right so the D stands for Dalvik and this was the kind of execution which happened over there, right? We have the source code and the dot class, right? Which is generated out of the Java bytecode. And from Java bytecode, we get the dex code, right? The dex code is nothing but uh, the file which you see over here, which is classes.dex, right? And uh, the dex code is, there, is then run in the uh, Dalvik virtual machine, which is the DVM. But the later versions of Android, uh, they decided to um, go away with the Dalvik um, virtual machines and in turn came up with something called as ART, right? The difference being um, both of the machines are going to use the DEX code, but the difference being uh, in Dalvik, it was more like a just-in-time kind of a compilation, which means, you know, some piece of the code is converted to machine code or, you know, while, while the execution is happening right whereas in case of uh, ART uh, it's slightly different here uh, you know as soon as you install the app the whole dex code is converted to you know the native code which is understood by the um, you know machine and it is basically stored in the memory and that's why it's a bit faster which means when you're executing uh, there is no compilation happening right so that's the main difference in Dalvik machine it is like a just-in-time kind of a um, you know kind of a uh, process or a compilation which happens whereas in case of ART it is something we call as the AOT or ahead of time right kind of a compilation so that's the difference and currently our new new versions of Android actually use the ART right and so that is the history behind the whole the DEX code part right which is pretty good now let's uh, dig deeper right what do we do next like I said um, um, we will also be looking into the signing process of an uh, app, right, in Android. So, unlike the iOS, right, the Apple OS, uh, there is no certificate authority, right, in case of Android, uh, which means developers could generate their own certificates, right. Uh, app signed, an, an app which is signed with the public key, whereas the private keys, you know, basically will stay with the developer of the app. So, uh, yeah, I think let's uh, go and play around uh, with this and try to sign an app, right? To uh, start doing this, let's first, uh, okay, let's come out of this. Let's delete the 
Firefox folder which we have created. Okay, and uh, great. So we have the app which is Firefox APK. And what are we trying to do is we are trying to create a new app of our own and we are trying to we will then try to sign this app right uh, which means let's create a new app from the existing app which we have which is the Firefox uh, let's first decompile this app using the APK tool right APK tool uh, let's do a decompiling operation and let's select the Firefox APK and then let's force it so when we run that what happens still running there you go so we have a Firefox folder being created okay so now we have kind of like decombined or stripped down the whole APK now let's try to build a new app using this one right with a new name right uh, unsigned version of the app right so let's do uh, apk tool is a, is a very interesting tool because you can do both decompiling as well as building right so now i'm going to build it because i have decompiled it already so i'm going to build it build it i'm going to point it to the directory where i have the decompiled version which is the firefox and i need to mention a output uh, a name of the app let's call this as new firefox right dot apk make sense think this should be fine right so um, what do we have now you can see my new app it is over here okay so you can see the new app let me actually do this there you go so um, Firefox was my older app and my new app is basically which I have basically it's a stripped down version of my existing Firefox app I've created a new app using the same app and it's called as the new Firefox dot APK okay um, great now what do we do let's see check if the app is signed right so let's clear this a bit so we have to check the app if it is signed so we use a tool called jar signer for this jar signer we are going to verify sorry we are basically verifying so which mode verbose mode and the name of the app is new firefox uh, okay so that did not so let me select this and what x yeah i think that should be good so when you run this it clearly tells me that the jar is unsigned right which means it is not signed now to sign this we have to first uh, generate a key store right so let me delete my older key store which probably is already here so this is my older key store let me remove it so that i can generate it once again right there you go i have removed it so now the command is very interesting so we start with key tool right the, um, and we are going to tell generate key right actually i'm going to probably paste the whole command and then i'll try to explain what i'm trying to do here right so we are basically trying to create a key store over here right so this is the command for creating a key store right i need to mention the name of the key store which is going to be my release key dot key store will be the name of the key store I can give an alias name I'll just give give it as alias name for now and what else um, I need to have a validity right and I also need to have the size of the key right and the algorithm which I need to use which is RSA right so once I do this it lasts for a password let me define a password there you go uh, it will start asking me questions now um, what's your known let me just put it as Android for now what's the name of the organization unit let me bypass this I mean it's not compulsory so I'm gonna skip this uh, skip this and I mean you can fill them as well not an issue um, I'm gonna put an S there you go 
okay so i need to again enter my password all right so now if i do a ls or basically let's do this you can see a key store has been created in my folder which is my release key dot key store now we are going basically going to use this key store to sign my apps right so let's do that so the uh the command which is used to sign an app is basically going to be this one let me paste this so it's going to be jar signer right verbose uh, md5 with rsa is going to be my algorithm uh, digest algorithm is going to be sha1 i can use a different one as well if i want the key store i need to use the key store which i just now created and you define the name of the app right which is new firefox.apk and the alias name which i earlier created right so once you give all of this you will be prompted to uh, type in the passphrase which you gave earlier so that's good there you go right um now once we are done this so we have signed the app haven't we expiration date yeah you can see all of the information over here we can verify like we did earlier so let me probably clear the screen a bit yeah there you go you can see that uh, uh, you know it has been signed right signature was verified it was signed by a particular authority yes the algorithm is not very uh, strong but still it has been signed right so we verified that it has been signed as well now from a hacker perspective right um, what do you do what or what what else do you want to do over here um, if, if I'm given a new app right and if I want to get some information about the author of the app what would I do so let me take the same app which I created just now which is the new firefox.apk so I would start by unzipping the app right new firefox apk dash t and let me put it in a folder called new firefox again right which is good um, let me do this so this is my new firefox yeah this is a folder so what do i do next i will navigate inside this folder and uh, let me try to find uh, always go inside a particular folder called meta right so let me go inside this folder called meta and and here you will find a particular file right so you'll find all this file so what you're gonna do is you need to run the key tool command over here so what is the command you're gonna run you're gonna run key tool uh, print certificate so it's gonna be print cert and file and the name of the file would be basically alias the rsa file right which is there over here so when you run that you get all the information about the owner of the app right you also understand who issued the certificate the serial number the certificate and um, you know all, all the information which algorithm is used and everything like all of this information is basically clearly given out to you right so uh, uh, that is the whole process about you know um, you know on how you can actually uh, sign an app right uh, create a whole key store and then sign an app using it and then I also showed you if I'm given you an if I'm giving you a new app right how do you extract information about the owner the organization and all of that right you can unzip it and after you unzip it you can navigate to this particular directory and run the key tool on this particular directory which is meta meta inf and you will be getting all the information like you know i showed over here so yeah thanks for watching do tune in for the new videos coming up